Stormisha has caused so much chaos on the UK because what's rare with Stormisha is we've seen those amber and yellow warnings cover the whole of the country. Usually it's a bit more localized. In terms of the wind speeds, well, the record this morning was at Tay Bridge near Dundee, saw 107 miles an hour gusts there. We've seen 99 mile an hour gusts in Northumberland at Brisley Wood. Carnarfon in Wales, North Wales has seen 90 miles an hour. And then down here on the south coast, just, uh, just further down the English Channel at the Needles in the Isle of Wight, seen 86 miles an hour. I'm currently at the top of the cliffs at Beachy Head, UK's highest cliffs. Now the wind has died down a bit from last night, but it's still blowing us around. In terms of across the country, there are thousands and thousands of homes without power. The island of Ireland is worse hit. Some 200,000 homes lost power there. In Northern Ireland, 45,000 homes and businesses were without power at dawn. And then in Scotland, you're looking at 50,000 homes, quite a few of those already coming back on. And then in Northern England as well, some, some 10,000 or more losing power overnight. And then you're also seeing flood warnings because of last week's snow, and then the rain over the last couple of days has melted that, melted the snow and, and a serious amounts of rain as well, uh, all through Sunday. Now you're seeing 50 flood warnings across Scotland, some 30 in England and another five flood warnings in Wales. And then the transport as well, the trains are absolutely up the spout. Nothing uh, running in Scotland today until, well, nothing this morning at all in Scotland. They're trying to work out how to get all those lines going again. There are some 10 trees on a line just outside of Glasgow, further in down into Northern England. Uh, again, nothing until nothing all morning north of Newcastle and all the other train operators saying expect severe delays. The Humber Bridge is closed to high sided vehicles because this is not whether you want to be driving a caravan or a lorry across the uh, Humber Bridge either. Uh, in southwest England, a number of roads down. And, and you know, there is some footage. I've been watching some of the footage on my phone. Here's some of the most shocking scenes that we've seen from Stormisha across the country in the last 24 hours. Here in the southeast of England, it's not had the worst of the weather, but actually not far from here, a greenhouse was blown onto the railway tracks. That's causing delays. Ireland, as I mentioned, has really seen the worst of it. There is footage of uh, you know, between Dublin and Belfast, really, really treacherous conditions along harbours and by the seas. People saying, don't go anywhere near the sea's edge if you can help it. And then a, a number of videos coming through on social media with planes trying to land. So I can't apologise enough for you. That's where we are at the moment. I'm just waiting for um, a, def a definitive uh, answer from the, the guys in operations. But uh, I suspect we won't end up flying back to Bristol because it, the, the risk is just too much, really. Uh, there's no guarantee we can land there at the moment. There were no planes going into Belfast at all on Sunday. Lots diverted. Another plane as well, uh, really struggling to land at Bristol. That got diverted to Edinburgh. People praying and being sick with that plane landing there. And then, uh, well, you know, have a look at these planes trying to land at Heathrow. She's gone. Now, is that kid? Oh, mate. Hold on a minute. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get it down, boss. Oh. Don't tip it over, mate. Fire it up! It's British Airways and Virgin Atlantic. All big power up there, see? Altitude is your friend. Speed is also your friend in these conditions. Oh, go around. I think he was too low, I think he was too low. Oh, mate, that's wind shear. 
I switch it. See the gear still down. Stabilise the aircraft and get that gear up. There it is. Wow, steep climb as well, man. To arrive here. Go round! Amongst all the disruption, some people saw the funny side. This, this person thought it was quite amusing when their luggage went walk about at Edinburgh Airport. <laughs> and we've been out in the weather as well. We got absolutely blown around doing our reports for Talk TV this morning. Uh, but at the moment, I mean, it's beautiful here, but we are struggling to stay on our feet. The gusts still probably pushing 50 miles an hour here at the top of uh, the cliffs near Beachy Head in Sussex, guys. Are those the white... I know, I know I'm not... Those aren't the white cliffs of Dover behind you, are they? No, so Dover is just further along uh, to the east, but actually these are the Seven Sisters. So really, really lovely walking territory here. Oh, yeah. You can not do a lovely today, walk Nick. across no, these not... cliffs. <laughs> no. Sorry, oh. say again. Not, not today. today. Well, it, do you know what? I mean, I quite, I'm quite enjoying it. We've just seen a runner come past, a guy who said this is one of the windiest runs he's ever had, and he should know because he actually had Beachy Head Lighthouse tattooed on his calf. Wow. So uh, he's definitely a man who knows this area well. So he's I'll hardcore. take it from him that this is uh, extremely windy. Yeah. You're a legend, Nick Ellaby. Thank you so much indeed, and thank you to Alex. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. What I love, the whole way through that, wonderful run-through of everything going on, with you, for those people listening, not watching, we're basically wobbling, desperately trying to stay uh, uh, upright in the incredible winds. Beautiful, beautiful scenes behind you, but very, very unnecessarily close, I would say, to a cliff edge. You and the cameraman, if I, if I took the sound off, it looks like you're both drunk. <laughs> we're about, yeah, we, well, that, that's just, that, we keep that just for the weekend. We're about five <laughs> hours, uh, five hours, sorry, five metres. I mean, my brain's gone cold. We're about five, ten metres from the edge of the cliff. This is basically as close as we can get yes. without putting ourselves in danger. Yes, don't, don't, please don't go any closer. We like you. We want you back safely in the studio. I, I, I don't know who you offended in the, in the in management that sent you out there. We'll get you back in. Nick Ellaby, thank you so much. Please, you and your camera, Thanks, Julia. stay safe. Nick Ellaby there.